Previously on Not So Berry, Gabriel asked Serena out on a date and took her to an astronomical museum. She was so happy that she invited him to her dorm. She thought she was ready, but she wasn't. Gabriel said there is no rush, so they just slept together. Serena told everything about her relationship with Gabriel and sex books to her mother. Harper told her that she can't learn everything on books. Serena ghosted Gabriel for a few days, and she decided to end things, because she thought she wasn't right for him, but Gabriel said she's perfect for him, they went to her dorm and now she was finally ready. Serena isn't feeling so good lately. She's feeling sick and hungry. She thinks it's just the finals. She's almost graduating. Harper came to visit her. It's Remembrance Day and Harper wanted to know if she wanted to do something for Olive and Dax. They did, but after they went out so her parents could properly meet Gabriel. Maddie sort of already knew him. But it was the first time meeting with Harper. They all got along. After Olive died, Harper became more maternal, so she's still watching his every move. Harper and Maddie went back home, and Serena and Gabriel were alone there. She invited him to play a bit. Gabriel said it's not because she's his girlfriend that he's gonna make her life easy, but Serena is very competitive and wants to be the best in everything. Serena started well. Take me up into the mountains. Send me up into the wild. Misery is still a path I would choose. If the alternatives are worse, I guess it's time to find a friend. Told you. See, babe, I'm the best. I hate you. No, you love me. And I won. You have to make up for me. Of course. Whatever you want. And after Serena's first time, she got a bit greedy. She can't get enough of him. <laughs> And this means she's often inviting him to her dorm. <laughs> Serena gained weight and she finally realized she was late. Because of finals, she didn't even notice it. She took a pregnancy test and it was positive. She was waiting for Gabriel to wake up. You came to me and Hello, you gave me reasons. Uh, mm, mm, mm. No! no! I can't it. And he's happy about this. She wasn't expecting this to happen so soon, but she's happy. Look at him, so happy. Serena's graduation day has come. She was so happy about this. I was at the wrong place at the right time When the ceremony ended, her family and friends were waiting outside When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy But, where was he? <laughs> Alice was the first She was like her sister, not her aunt Bye. Yeah.
Harper never thought she would be so happy to have a grandchild. When Maki saw Alice, they were stunned. They introduced themselves to her. Since Serena's first year, Maki broke up with their girlfriend. Alice liked them. Serena missed Gabriel there, but she was having fun with her friends and family. But someone was watching her. He brought her flowers. Congrats, Nina. You didn't have to. I know, but I wanted to. You deserve it. I love you so much. I thank you, Gabe. And since I know you're the one, and we're having a baby, will you marry me? Yes. Of course. This is pretty. So, next we need to introduce you to my mother and Mimi. I'm finally getting to know Mimi. I can't believe it. Yes, you will. And we need to figure out where we're gonna live. Oasis Springs, of course. And they continued to dance. Serena never said the words, I love you to Gabriel. But he's not worried. He knows her, it's her personality. It's who she is and he loves her for herself. He doesn't need to hear it when she demonstrates to him every day she loves him. She's happy. They are happy.